Hi everyone, this is DokiPen, and welcome to this video on 2D tile maps in Unreal Engine. So um, I had this uh, tile map which I've I uh, found on Google, and uh, I didn't make this tile map. I, yeah, I just downloaded it, and I'm going to see if I can get this in the engine. So let's um, open up the engine, and I've already created a folder here. Uh, called 2D and I'm just going to import everything in here so let's import that texture directly into the engine and the first thing I'll do is I'll come into the texture editor and you might notice that uh, it's a bit blurry and the reason for that is because it is filtered so if you have a, th a texture that you're using in your 3D game you might want filtering but for this case if we're going for a, like an 8-bit uh, stylized game, then we want to come down to this texture drop-down, and it might be uh, um, collapsed, so you might have to uncollapse it, and come down to the filter, and just choose nearest, and then we can save and uh, cl close that down. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to come to um, kind of create a new asset, and this is going to be a tile set. So this isn't actually what goes into the level, but this is kind of what defines um, what our tiles are made of. So once we've opened the tile set editor, we've got this uh, kind of big display window and some options down the bottom. So we're going to choose that texture we imported, and from there you can, you know, you can middle mouse zoom and right click pan to kind of move around. And what we'll need to do is just tell the engine what the width and height of our tiles are. So um, it's going to interpret the pixels with a certain width and height as a tile. And we need to, we need to tell it that. So that's something you'd have to find out from the uh, image itself. So you can either count the pixels or you might have painted it yourself or wherever you've got the tile map from it should have that in the information where you got it from so in this case I know that the tiles are 16 pixels wide so that now the engine interprets these tiles correctly and knows that they're 16 pixels wide so there are other options here if you have tile maps that have um, spacing in between like they might have a pixel spacing in between and a pixel around the border then that's where you can enter this information. Uh, in the current version of the engine, uh, they, this, these options weren't working for me with some other tile sets. So um, for now, I'm just using this tile set just as a demonstration. So I will close that down and save. And then the next thing we want is a tile map. And this is actually going to be the asset that you place in your level and we're going to be using the tile set to paint into the tile map. So I uh, will just open the tile map and in the middle we've got a um, kind of painting area and on the left this is where we're going to be choosing what tiles we're going to be painting with and on the right we've just kind of got some general setup attributes. So on this tile set selector we're going to be coming to this active set drop down and we're going to be picking this tile set which is the one that we've created and it should show all the tile sets that you've made so again we this is we can middle mouse zoom and right right uh, mouse pan and from here we can click on a tile and over in the window we are going to want to paint it but there, you might notice there's something weird with the uh, white square around the tile and that's because we need to come over here and again choose the right um, tile width options here in the global setup and what I'd like to do is um, kind of fill the, um, the, the tile map with a kind of a blank tile so I'm just going to come to Yep, here. And you notice that so I was clicking up here and it wasn't painting. And the reason for that is because we've set a map width and a map height of 4. So that means that this tile map itself can only contain 4 by 4 tiles. So it might make that clearer if I fill it with um, another colour. 
So we get one, two, three, four along the top, and then one, two, three, four along this, along the sides. So um, let's just fill that with a blank color for now. And the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to do is create a new layer. So I've painted on this layer, and if we paint another layer, then um, we can paint on top of that. So let's uh, let's choose um, some of the tiles, and I'm going to go back into paint mode. So I'm just going to delete that layer, recreate a new one, uh, and just click each time I want a new tile, and that should place that one there. And we can come through and pick another one, and just click. And you might notice that the transparency of the image that you brought in is also um, sort of showing through the layer underneath. So that's where sort of PNG file formats are quite useful. Um, I'm going to increase this time app size to 24 by 24, and that gives me more sort of painting area. So I'm going to delete both these layers and again create a base layer and fill it so that no so that that just shows me where my area is and later on I can just turn off that layer when I when I don't want to show it so I will show you one other thing quickly we can click a tile that we want to paint or we can also click and drag and that will grab a whole selection of tiles and now you can notice that we can paint um, onto the tile map using that selection and you can do, it doesn't have to be square, you can do um, sort of horizontal and vertical selections as well so let's uh, delete that layer create a new one and we'll fill it paint, create a new layer on top of that and let's just go through and try and paint a basic map. So I'm just going to get this and let's paint a gap. We can paint another gap, and then we'll get some of these corner ones. Oops, and that's where I can erase one, and then we'll get some of these side ones. Get the other side. Don't worry about that because we can just paint over it and we'll just fill in these ones. And you can just click and drag and it should paint them all. And then let's choose something else. Let's choose a pipe. So here's a good, a good uh, example where we can click and drag and get a whole pipe. And let's get some platforms. Actually, let's get a waterfall. So we'll click and then drag down to select these two tiles and then we can just, then we can just uh, click and drag click and drag and finally let's get some sort of floating platforms there we go, we can just click and drag and then we'll just we do that and it's probably a good idea to um, separate these all, all on separate layers if you want and the other thing about layers which I'll show you soon is that this that these layers determine the rendering order of the, of the um, of all the separate tiles so we could have a, a background layer of a sky and then a foreground layer of um, some some mountains and then the characters in front on, to, on a top layer and that just determines which ones get rendered in order. So this is a very basic uh, tile map. Now if we come back to our editor, um, what we can do now is we can grab that tile map and we can just drag it into the level. And it's now it's got its own transform and its own scale if we want to. And these, uh, you can ignore these lines, they won't get drawn when the game plays. But if you look carefully, you can kind of see the the layers. They have their own depth, so that's how they get rendered in different orders. So um, now you can just place it in the level, and when you hit play, then there you go. There's your there's your tile map. Now, obviously, this is a first-person template, so it's not looking like a 2D game. But what you would probably do is have a um, 
uh, 2D character with an orthographic camera. So I might be able to hack together something in the... So you can imagine that if we had a 2D game, we can align this to the right orientation. Make sure that's 90 degrees. And you can imagine if we had a 2D character, 2D paper character, then when we hit play with an orthographic camera, then when we move left and right, actually we can move that forward just to illustrate that a bit better. If we come to our first person character, and if we make this an orthographic camera, and hit play, There we go, we can hit play, and then, then you can see how an orthographic camera with a, a 2D character would um, make this look a lot more 2D. So for now, I think that's enough to show you how to get started with tar maps in Unreal Engine, and thanks for watching.